Hey, we're playing music games today. Just hop right in here. Hello? You sleeping? What was that? Promotion notice. It wasn't a dream, but a real promotion. And this? A jukebox that leads reapers to the location of souls? I should read those, read those documents and get familiar with the job. Oh, that's a nice art style. Oh, that's... yeah, that's a... Uh, that's actually uh, a scythe. I don't know why I couldn't think of the word. I was stuck on Reaper way too much. I'm like, no, that's not, that's not the Reaper. He's the Reaper, presumably. Where do the passing souls go off to? Child of Monster. Starting song, I guess? I think we're getting right to it. We had somebody wearing... Looked like we had someone wearing cat ears, and then somebody who just was actually... Anthropomorphized. Wait, what? What did that picture have to do with anything? Maybe it's a representation of the band? And then related to the rest of it? The pictures and words on the wall are memories of the dying. All these memories. The human brain is pretty amazing. This should be the soul of the dying. What should I do to break this barrier? You're gonna have to rock! No, well, this should be the memory collector. The memory looks almost fully loaded. Time to do my job. Yeah, there's a wolf person or something. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, oh. Enter is play. Okay. Looks like it's a wolf person that saved a baby or something. This art just comes at you without without context. Difficulty easy. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse. Oh my god. There's four difficulties. All right. Let's just. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a bad idea. Uh, tutorial. Uh, a. Before starting game, the following are introductions to game controls. On game screen, there are six tracks relating to six keys on the keyboard. De uh, default keys are S, D, F, J, K, L. Okay. And a hor horizontal line known as the judgment line. Following... Followings are introductions to different types of notes in game. Oh, this needs a translation. Uh, notes will fall from the top during music playing. Oh, so you just hit them when they come down. So really standard rhythm game, probably. Okay, you hold those ones down. That's pretty straightforward. That's it. Okay. Very... Oh. Oh, it just started. I think. Uh, SDF, JKL. Okay. Ah. 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 Okay. No. No. <laughs> no. No. Let's turn that... Let's turn that down a little bit. Maximum speed, a little bit too much up there. Okay, let's try it again. Tone... What is this? I don't know what that is. Sound effect? Huh. Uh, cool. Start? Uh... Do you have to do the tutorial every time? Okay, sure. Alright, let's try this again with the speed turned down. Okay. I'm not... Uh, okay. This is... I thought I was ready for this. I am not... Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> and that's why it's generally considered a bad idea to jump straight to the highest difficulty. In a shocking turn of events. Okay. <laughs> let's, uh, let's do medium. Yeah. Let's start off on medium. And uh, let's turn that sound off. Because it's kind of sounds weird. Okay. I guess you have to go through this every time. There we go. Okay. I thought I'd be ready, but six finger piano playing. A little harder than I thought. 
Oh, I was pressing them based on the keys and not the line. Because the keys being on the screen feels like the target, but it's not. Whoops. Okay, now it's straightforward. I was struggling because I was dealing with... In particular, the chords are hard. Uh, trying to coordinate across the fingers of two separate hands when... Uh, here we go. Trying to coordinate the, the fingers on two separate hands when I'm not used to the game. That was a bit rougher than I thought it was going to be to get used to. I don't know why some notes are blue. I think DDR rules apply, where if you press an extra note on top of what you're supposed to, the game doesn't care. Ah. Which might be a little abusable, because unlike DDR, you can have your fingers on every single letter in this game. Uh, on every note, I mean. Whereas in DDR, you have two legs fighting for four arrows. So you can't exactly press all of them at once. Hey! 25 combo. There's like a little thing going on where it's all psyched about what I've done. Oh, that was just a mistake. Whoops. Ah. <laughs> ah, my brain's all messed up. Two-hand rhythm game. I'm trying to think of the times I've had to use two hands in a rhythm game, where both of them were, the, were note selectors. And I think the only example I can think of is uh, playing drums in a rock band. Every other time... Uh, every other time it would have been just one hand picking notes and maybe another hand is pl doing the play notes thing, but that's about it. The other example might be DJ Hero? Oh god. This is what's really messing with me is the uh, the keys on the screen. I, w I wonder if I can disable those because I keep pressing the notes based on when they get to the keys as opposed to when they get to the uh, line. Giving me a little bit of mi mixed feedback and I kind of want to turn it off. So I guess it's called Orphans of War because it's a song about a war orphan or something, although it doesn't really have any lyrics or anything. New song, Childhood. Okay. What does this have to do with the Reaper, though? That's what I'm kind of wondering. Okay, I got a B. This must be the second certification test the manual mentions. Only after this will the Reaper get full privileges. Events may be monitored for QA purposes? Hmm. Compared to that identify certification, maybe SRPA should check if any pages are missing. Huh. We'll see if they ever do anything with the story. So far, I'm, like, a little... ...confused by the existence of the story and its inclusion. Let's see, if I hit Q, I go back. Is there an options menu? The things in this luggage are heavier than I thought. I can almost feel a trembling pulse. Is it broken? It doesn't seem to turn on. Twelve ways to become a great reaper. Is there... Oh, now we're back to the main menu. I'm just looking for an options menu to turn off the keys, because once I know what they are, I don't need them to be on the screen. They be- they form a- there's no, I don't think there are option menus. They, for, they form a horizontal line across the screen that I keep looking at as if it's going to be what I need. Judge equals question mark, child of monster. Uh... I wonder if there's a follow-up song? So, new. Childhood. Okay, so this is like a whole thing. A child being raised amongst the creatures. V? It's not the right time yet. Please collect other stories from the, in the song. Okay, so V doesn't do anything. Childhood Senpai. <laughs> Alright. 
Uh, let's do hard mode this time. Maybe turn the speed down a little bit so I have some time. I don't know what key hint means. Oh, that's probably the opacity of it telling me what the keys are. Okay, so that's probably I turn that off. Cool. Uh, that's probably good. All right, let's see how I do on hard mode. <laughs> the middle, the middle ground of the two. Oh my god. <laughs> It's the chords that ruin me. Huh? <laughs> the chords. <laughs> there we, we almost got it. <laughs> Uh, got it. Got it wrong. Got it wrong. This is hard. I was terrible at the piano in Rock Band Three. Uh. <laughs> oh no! Oh, it gets hard fast. I miss, I miss rhythm games. <laughs> oh my god, there's so much going on. Uh. I got it, I got it, I almost had it. Oh. Huh? Ha! I got it. this would this would take a lot of practice. This would this would take a lot of practice. I gotta divide my brain. I gotta divide my brain between the three. Uh, C. <laughs> hey, I still gotta see. Yeah, I've, I've got to, I've got to divide my brain between the left side of the screen and the right side of the screen, and how and how they correlate with my two hands because I'm I'm not splitting the two as well as I should, and so I, I get mixed up on the difference between like my left and right index fingers being F and J. I'll miss the transition between hands really badly. Words printed on paper. It looks like memory of dying soul. For reference only, sound of a dying soul. A reference? I'll just keep it in between these pages here. I don't know what that means. Story? War in Cuerda. On the border of Ariodale and Cuerda, conflict between the beastmen and humans has long continued. The beastmen Iker walked on the streets of the captured human city faint, burning scents in the air. His forces were already pillaging valuables and food. War, the aftermath of battle, a dead city filled only with beastmen soldiers. Such sights have become so repetitive, Iger had grown too lazy to even keep count. Without emotion, he trampled over the ruins of a burnt-down house, about to kick open the neighboring door, and suddenly stopped. Cries coming from within the house. A youngling? The humans have all gone to their shelters, and the garrison at the city doors have retreated. Humans wouldn't have a child alone in some house. Cautious, and keeping alert of his surroundings, Iker tackled the open the door. Things strewn all over the house, and on the short-legged table, there was a blue-clothed bundle squirming in a basket. The cries became louder. Frowning, Iker took a few more steps forward. If it's a human youngling, he'd have to dispose of it. He looked down and froze. His necklace. 
The cyan-colored gem fell on the child's chest, a sparkling light he hadn't forgotten in all these years. To be continued. <laughs> I like the idea that that's written there, specifically. Sounds of souls probably refers to the past memories of the dying. Are these... Are there any more besides these? What does S do? That's the chapter. The art's nice. That's neato. Did I not collect this one or something? No, it says I have a B rank. How do I collect... It's not the right time yet. Please click the other stories. Well, it said I got a story from that one. Maybe I failed to get the story from this one somehow? I don't know. Oh, let's play it on hard mode this time. Try that out. It's the first song. How hard could it be? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. Uh, uh, uh. I can't. Uh, 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 I can't do it. This is impossible. Oh god. Oh god. Those mess with me. Trying to do the alternating hand gestures that do these. Uh, oh, I was off. I was off my entire hand. Whoops. doing a little better now. I think my hand was literally off off the keyboard, basically. <laughs> I feel like a toddler. I'm starting to hit actual notes. Hooray. Ah, no. Yeah. Okay, the scrolling is starting to look really weird with them so densely packed together. It's starting to get a little hard to parse. Oh boy. There's something about the two-dimensional image being projected in this way. It looks a little odd. That could have gone a lot better. Whoops. Maybe the blue notes are... the stories? Or are the blue notes just the center the center key of each hand? It might be that. C! You're despicable. Hey, I got more so more story. I don't know why I didn't get story the first- Oh, now I have t Okay, it must be score-based? Or something? I've There's like a weird arbitrary progression system of some kind? Huh. This is odd. We have that one already. Premonitions of a warrior. Many years ago, Iker was hunting by the border. Conditions were poor that day. He had been separated from his companions and wounded by a trap. The girl who saved his life wore the exact same necklace. In the snow, the light was especially bright. It was unforgettable. 
The girl ignored the protests of others and tended him, though it was beneath her station. She took him in, letting him fully recover before leaving. And now before his eyes, a child with the same necklace, helpless in a village swept by war. Iger could not let this pass. He grimaced, deciding to take the, the beastling home. Hmm. So this is a whole thing. So I guess you play back and forth and you practice these songs, which are fairly piano-based, definitely. It seems- oh yeah, this one's explicitly a piano, this one seems to be an electronic keyboard. Okay. So practice your way through all these keyboard songs, get higher and higher scores, and then slowly unlock the story behind all of these drawings. And... alright, that's a... that's one way to set up a campaign for a music game. I wonder where the- I wonder where the reap- oh, that's not a good sign, is it? <laughs> It's not a good sign that the Reaper means that these are all going to end in sad ways, aren't they? Or whoever it's talking about must be dead or something, presumably? I don't know. Alright, next up we're trying out Before the Echo. I believe this game used to be called Sequence, I think. I'm pretty sure they renamed it for what might have been legal issues, but I'm not sure. That was not musically- wow. <laughs> these difficulty names. Easy, for the musically challenged. Medium, for the for those musically challenged yet stubborn. Hard, for those not musically challenged. Spasmodic, for those socially challenged. You're not be able to change the difficulty after completing floor three. Oh boy, all right. Hard. To avoid lost data, please choose a new data save slot. This is another one I think that's got like, story and music game all in one. A different sort of game. Featuring music by that guy and those people. I mean, that was well, that guy too. I saw four words, so I thought it was more names, but it was just the one person. Before the Echo. I'm pretty sure last time I played this game, I had a completely different name. But I don't think I've covered it before. It's from 2011. The year I started doing YouTube in the first place, so... Once upon a time, I used to just play games and not make videos of them. Isn't that crazy? None of this was here, though. I don't remember any of this. I don't think this was in the, the original game. I don't think I'm imagining it. I think this game used to be called Sequence. Maybe I'm the only person that remembers that. I don't even know. I don't know. Press escape to skip. I don't want to skip. I just want to see something happen. Uh, there it is. God, my head. What the hell just... My wallet. Someone stole my damn wallet. Great. I'm penniless and stuck in some gothic funhouse. Unless this is a dream. Nope. My brain feels like it was stabbed by a hobo. It's gotta be real. <clears throat> but how did I get here? I remember I was in my apartment getting ready for bed. You're talking to yourself. Really? Who's there? Me. Where are you? Up here, Intercom. My name's Naya. That's a weird name. I get that a lot. Did you steal my wallet? Yeah, I stole your wallet for drug money and then decided to confess my sins via Intercom. Wait, hold on. I have to do this bump of cocaine. Uh-huh. Well, do you know who took it? Nope. I've only been watching for a few minutes. You can see me? Unfortunately, yes. You should really work on your look. It's a little dated. I don't need to... Look, I just woke up and I can't remember how I got here. I think I may have been drugged or... You weren't drugged. Then what the hell happened? I... I'm not at liberty to say. And why not? I'm not at liberty to say that either. Look, I've been assigned to guide you through the tower, which will try its very darndest to kill you at every turn. Darndest? Shut up. This place is a little creepy, I'll admit, but I think I can manage. Go date rape and piss off someone else. I'm... Whoa! What, what the hell? Damn it, you arrogant jerk. I'm trying to help you. Good, go! Help! Get this thing the hell away from me! Hey, is it... Oh, okay. It's this one. Got it. 
What? What was that? A saving grace hotshot. I can't do those often, so I suggest you calm down and listen up. Okay, I... Okay. I'm gonna break down basic training into several lessons. You can repeat a lesson if you want, or even skip them. Though, I wouldn't recommend it. I'm only doing this once. Oof, that dialogue's not working for me. Nope. Nope, that's not working for me. All right, uh, gems and jams. What the hell is this? Am, am I on crystal meth? A lot of juvenile drug references going on in here, huh? So I think this game's a little bit like, uh, yeah, if I remember correctly, this game's a little bit like, uh, Amplitude and Frequency, or Rock Band Blitz, or the Metronomicon, and that you have multiple different fields you want to go play DDR in that affect what happens, basically. This is how you'll be fighting off your adversaries. Your health is represented by your HP, down on the left in green. If it reaches zero, bang, game over. Game over? It's a metaphor for death. Your opponent's health is on the right in red. Knock it down to zero, and you've won. Now, you'll notice there's music playing in the background. The gems come down from the top of the screen in one of four directions. You can clear a gem when it reaches the gray stationary arrows. The gems are aligned with the beat of the music. Try to clear the gems by listening to the music, not by trying to watch their exact positions. Oh, and you can either use the arrow keys or WASD to clear gems. Sometimes you'll need to use both. Let's try it out. A gem's going to come down. And right here, you'll hit the corresponding direction. Got it? Uh, sure. Let's try it out. Go ahead and clear this gem. Here we go. Sort of basic DDR. Fantastic. Brilliantly done. I would give you a gold star, but you're beyond gold star. Occasionally, two gems will come down at once. All right, let's try a double. They're trying really hard to be cute, aren't they? Woot. So I did it? You did indeed. Let's move on to lesson two. All right, lesson two. Will you be as condescending and rude in the... Yes. So, you can see three boxes. We call these fields. Each one will contain a separate stream of gems and each has a specific function. Can I hit all three at once? Nope. In order to switch between them, you'll need to use the Q and E keys. Go ahead and give it a try. Move between the fields a bit. Yep, just like that. So, what does each field do? Let's break it down. This one in red is the defensive field. I'm gonna disable your ability to clear gems. Let's see what happens. I'm guessing bad things happen. Yep. So if you miss anything on the defensive field, you lose hit points, okay. Every gem you fail to clear in the defensive field will damage you by a certain amount. There are also glowing gems which do more damage. They look like this. That one had a blue glow, which does two times damage. There are other types as well. A green glow does three times damage, yellow does five times damage, and red does a bow emptying ten times damage. Okay, what are the other two fields? Go ahead, switch to the green one. This is the spell field. This is where you'll be casting various spells to do damage to the opponent, heal yourself, etc. Uh... For now, don't worry about it. We'll All right, in the last field. Go ahead and switch over. This is the mana field. Here, each gem you clear will yield a sparkling one mana point regained. Mana? You'll expend mana when casting spells, and this is the only way to regain that mana in battle. And it's pronounced mana. Yeah, you wouldn't believe how many people get that wrong. Hmm. Anyway, there's no penalty for failing to clear gems in this field. If you see a deluge of gems bearing down, don't worry. Just switch here when you need the mana. All right, got it. I do decree it's lesson three. Go ahead and switch to the spell field for me. Great. So, there are a wonderful variety of spells. You've only got two to start off, but you'll eventually learn more. Your spells are located at the bottom of the screen. See that crazy circle thing? We call that the spell ring. 
Hit a numbered hotkey to activate the spell. And that costs mana, right? Right. The specific amount is shown inside the spell ring. If you don't have enough, you can't activate the spell. I thought we were casting spells. Well, right. To actually cast the spell, you'll need to successfully hit all the gems inserted into the spell field. And what happens if I miss one? Well, nothing. You'll fail the spell and you'll have wasted whatever mana you spent. Not rad. Totally not rad. All right, go ahead and cast Arclight, the orange spell on the right of the spell ring. It's a standard direct damage spell. Go ahead and hit the one key to activate the spell. All right, let's Excellent. go. Excellent. You can see that your mana is decreased by the cost of the spell. Now clear the gems. Whoever that enemy is in this case. Okay, now the music's louder than the voice actors actually. Got it. Your other spell, though we're not gonna cast it here, is barrier. It has the effect of reducing the number of incoming gems in the defensive field for a short period of time. So I'll take less damage? Right. If you're getting slaughtered while trying to attack, try keeping up an active barrier spell. Mm, strategy. Okay, I think we got that done with. We can try to get to the gameplay now. So, yeah, now I remember this a little bit. This is like the equivalent of like when somebody took Bejeweled and was like, what if we made this into RPG combat and we got Puzzle Quest? This is like that, but for DDR a little bit. I am totally right and do not need further training. This, the writing of this game is something else. Well, that's about it for the basics of combat. So we're done? Nuh-uh. What's a class without a final exam? A uh, good one. On a scale of one to stop whining, shut your face. We're gonna say that doesn't even make battle, sense. You can't just say stuff like that. <sighs> Fine. All right. Remember what you learned. Good luck. That doesn't even make sense, you lunatic! How dare you? Uh, our, so this one is the the one that casts spells. Okay. I definitely need to upgrade the difficulty, like, immediately. So relatively straightforward, Play w you press WASD to, to use your moves, and then you scroll around. So WASD... Oh yeah, I screwed that up because I got attacked. Alright, let's do this one, I guess. So WASD uh, use, actually does the... Uh, the spells. I'm sorry. I I can't fucking say things right now because I'm I'm like stuck. It's hard to process. Uh, so WASD does the notes themselves, and then uh, I didn't mean to do that shit. WASD does the notes, and uh, Q and E scrolls you back and forth, and you kind of just go with that basically. So I just cast both spells in rapid succession, although not that rapid. And then I win. Oh yeah, my brain's gonna shut down completely. The verbal part of my brain's gonna completely shut down if I, if I do an actual fight, probably. Let's do this. <laughs> okay, I think... Don't worry. Right. Just, just, just gonna fucking... We're done with that. We're done with... We're done with the story. We're done with the story. I'm so done with the story. I think you're welcome, frankly. But you're welcome. I'm sure that we're all very happy that just happened. This is hard difficulty? Very, very occasional attack so far. Did I miss that? Oh, how did I do that? Shit. Goofed it hard. That, uh, defensive barrier stays up for a while, doesn't it? Oh, there we go. I was a little ahead of it, wasn't I? There we go. There's an actual attack.
Yeah, that's the full the full screen effects are like they actually get in the way of you seeing the arrows a little bit, don't they? Like the one thing you wouldn't want them to do, basically. So one is is my attack. Ah, damn it! I tried to avoid that. <clears throat> Got attacked. My bad. There we go. Hey there, it's been a while. Alright, let's wrap up our music video, video, our music game video. A little tr with a little old tradition, which is to... Don't make me do a tutorial, what are you crazy? Uh, which is to go... Freaking play... A Where would I go? Oh god. I don't remember where my things are. There we go. Uh, to go to an old tradition of, pl of uh, you know, playing an OC Remix song in good old Audio Surf in Ninja because I never had the... For some reason I never had interest in learning any of the other modes of this entire game. I always just wanted to play the one where you just very, do very basic dodging and gathering. Whereas the other, the rest of the series uh, is like a bunch of weird like gem stacking games where you're trying to get certain colors and collect things and there's a lot there's a whole lot going on and I've never engaged with it for some reason. Yeah, so this is pretty straightforward mode. It's the hard version mode of it, but it's not that big of a deal. Basic idea is you want to collect all of the colorful ones and not any of the gray ones. And it's procedurally generating uh, it's probably not the right thing to call it, but it's it's generating a level based on the song that you input so you can play your own library. And yes, this is an OC, re OC remix of a Sonic song. Yeah. This was my zen place for the longest time. I just kept coming back to this game over and over and over again. It has a lot of that kinetic, thrilling, raw simplicity that's so satisfying about rhythm games. It's kind of why I noped out of uh, After the Echo is because I'm like, you're overcomplicating a music game. Music games are simple. That's the fun. You just get in and you go. It's like how a platformer kind of only needs run and jump. Yeah. Haven't messed up yet. So you can tell there's a speed ramp here. Obviously, I don't, I don't just sit here and play video game music all the time in this game. Although it's a good option, they have to have a good rhythm to it. What's really good for this game, in my opinion, to make it the to make the track thrilling, is just anything that changes speeds a lot or changes intensity a lot. Alternative music's good. Prog rock is good. And stuff that has a lot of bass is often really good. Video game music can be pretty good. But I'm playing video game music and OC Remix music because it doesn't get me in trouble. No! My spree! But this is this is me playing YouTube safe music. Oh, I collected two of them. You fool. You fool. You're old now. Your reflexes are gone. You might as well just give up now. What are you gonna have to do? You're gonna have a career in video game playing? What are you, crazy? You're, you're already decaying. Your mental acuity, your verbosity, your reflexes, your joints, it's all, it's all gonna get worse from here on out. Just gonna embarrass yourself on the internet for the next 20 years. Isn't that great? It's 
This game's just really fun. Uh, they made a sequel, but I never cared, because I don't know how you would iterate on this in a way that I would care about. And uh, there were negative reviews for it, but I don't know why. I can also left click to like simultaneously gather in every lane, but I don't. I never use that ability. I just manually grab. Every oh shit! I just manually grab everything. This is all I want from this game. It's just to dive around as a little spaceship and grab things while the song plays, and the screen matches the intensity of the song. Yeah. Much longer. It's funny how there's something really addictive about how the like unabashedly sincere butt rock of Sonic games, like more so than any other element of the game, the silly, dumb music is the best. And this is a remix, which largely makes it a more enjoyable song. Oh yeah, Nine Inch Nails is great for this. I used to play the song Burn a lot, because of the intensity spike. Songs that are like mellow-ish and then go crazy are real good choices. Every song has its own high ah, don't order. talk to me. Go away. Sure. Post it. No. Song. Shut up. To Shut up. Shut up. Go away. Oh my god, dare I relive the trauma? <laughs> Oh no, it's gonna be a slow one, apparently. Oh, If it's all going uphill, that means it's gonna be slow the entire time. Oh, ma the Mount- Hall of the Mountain King doesn't have a spike by this game's standards. Bummer. Sometimes it might be the volume of the song might affect the way that they generate, unfortunately. This is the dumbest song. Hey, you wanna hear a really stupid Meat Boy song? Here we go. <laughs> Yep, somebody took a, a song from Super Meat Boy and they they remixed it and added uh, lyrics to it so that it's a it's a ballad. I really like it when a song does that in this game, where the rhythm keeps changing. Like, like the in-game intensity keeps changing, so it keeps going really slow, then almost stopping, then speeding down a hill. And it's all based on what kind of song you're going with. The total lack of commentary is probably indicative of why I don't generally play 
rhythm games consistently on this channel, even if I aren't, am not afraid of the soundtrack giving me copyright problems. It's... It's such a zen thing, kind of, but it's intense. Like, you're... It just... You're... You're... You can't process anything besides what you're doing. They had to be really happy with themselves, right, when they wrote a song that unironically uses the phrase Behold the power of the meat as its big closing line. <laughs> it's just the funniest goddamn lyric. Alright, so, if you've stuck it out this far, I guess thanks for indulging me. This has completely become a self-indulgent, just Keith explores the genre he likes to play sometimes thing. <laughs> uh, if you want to watch more rhythm games, uh, first of all, if you want to check out any games uh, I played in this video, you can find them via the link in the description to their Steam pages. Uh, thank you to the developers of the first game, uh, Space... was it Space Tune? Space... shit. Notoriously video... Uh, it's notoriously hard to remember the names of... Space Tone, there we go. It's like notoriously hard to remember the names of like any any music game ever. A lot, a lot of them are like brutal names to remember. Uh, Audio, Surf, and Across the Echo were just, just were hanging out in my back my backlog. Uh, thanks, to, thanks to the developers of uh, Space Tone for sending me a code. Uh, if you want to check out more rhythm games, I've done one-off videos of the, the past. I've done the Metronomicon, which is another play as a party of people and kind of do DDR, I think, if I remember correctly, to fight monsters. Uh, it made a bit more sense, I think, than, uh, than Across the Echo, or whatever the Echo game was called. Uh, what I, it's, like, it's like what I said a second ago about music games and their, how easy it is to remember their names, which is that it is not. Uh, before the Echo, there we go. I think Across the Echo might be another game, actually. Uh, I think Metronomicon's combat made a bit more sense, and in particular, I think it, it, they we, got, we were able to jump straight to the combat with a lot less tutorial, which was nice. So I got to just go and enjoy the game for a while. Uh, I played Thumper. That's a really cool one. Imagine an audio surf, but if it was angry, uh, and you had to press reflexive buttons at the right time. Thumper was really fun. I only played like the first couple worlds or something like that, but that game was very, very intense and enjoyable. Less about playing licensed music or whatever, and more about a weird, like, 
the game makes sounds and you're rhythming in it and so you're kind of creating music on its own level but also i think it kind of had its own music in the background or something but thumper's neat metronomicon's neat and also i, I think i did a one off of rock band blitz which is a, a game that harmonics made where they were like they kind of went back to the frequency amplitude thing where you were doing lane swapping and pressing buttons to play the notes but it was cross compatible with the entire backlog of dlc that rock band had which was cool uh, and i really like that game too uh, so if you want to check out more rhythm games in addition to the ones you've seen here look up those on my channel or click their floating tiles that'll show up on the screen at the end of this video if i remember to put them there uh, uh thumper rock band blitz uh metronomicon space tone uh, uh from the echo game god damn it audio surf before the echo there we go those are the check them music games i'm just saying words now goodbye <laughs>